Hi, I'm Neil Donahue, the Editor-in-Chief of our new journal, Environmental Science Atmospheres, and I'm a Professor of Atmospheric Chemistry at Carnegie Mellon University. My specialty is atmospheric chemistry, including free radical kinetics and mechanisms, and especially the role that that chemistry plays in the formation and growth of fine particles in the atmosphere, secondary organic aerosol formation, and the role that aerosols and atmospheric chemistry has in air pollution and climate and public health. Atmospheric chemistry is incredibly interdisciplinary, and the problems are right there as global environmental concerns. Air pollution kills five to seven million people around the world every year. That's something like 15% of mortality. Climate change is tied up in atmospheric chemistry in so many ways. And these are some of the greatest challenges facing the humanity today. My goal for environmental science atmospheres is simple. I want consistently great papers. We're looking for papers that change the way people think about the atmosphere. Now this is the Royal Society of Chemistry, so there's usually going to be chemistry involved in some way or another, but there's so many different areas where chemistry touches on interactions with the biosphere, free radical kinetics, one of my own areas, climate, air pollution, indoor air quality. The list goes on and on and on. We want papers to describe significant advances, uh, deep in a field, but in a way that readers from many different disciplines can understand and appreciate. We need to be a place where people want to go read a paper and people want to publish a paper because they know the papers in the journal are going to be worth reading. They know they're going to be fun to read, they're going to be well written, and they're going to learn something. Uh, the scholarship has been extremely well vetted. This is a place you go to because you know that that 10 minutes, that two hours, whatever it takes to, to understand a paper, that's going to be worth your time. Anybody who's interested in the way the atmosphere works should read this journal. What it's made of, how chemistry influences the way the atmosphere works, atmospheric chemistry interacts with the ocean, with the biosphere, uh, how it works indoors and outdoors, all those topics are in the scope of the journal. I'm really looking forward to interacting with the whole journal team, all of the associate editors, uh, the staff at the Royal Society of Chemistry, everyone involved in crafting and bringing their ideas together to form a consensus on how this journal should move forward.